Okay, hopefully you are looking good here. Next up, we want to go after the main navigation menu for our low resolution device. And once again, we've seen this twice already. So it's going to be pretty much the same idea here. So our main navigation menu is making use of the nav HTML5 element. So inside my external style sheet, I'm going to go and redefine what it means to be a nav, N-A-V. So nav, and then I'll throw in my curly brackets there, my squiggly brackets. And let's see here, I want the height of the nav to automatically adjust itself. So I'm going to say height, full colon space, 100%. So occupy the content of the navigation menu. That's basically what I'm saying here. But once again, just like the header that we just finished setting up, I'm not going to specify a width. So the width of the overall navigation menu is going to be automatically determined by the object itself. Perfect. I want a black background color on this guy. So I'll throw on background, full colon space, RGB, and then in brackets, I'm going to say 0, 0, 0. All right, and don't forget your semicolon on the end of that. And let's see, just like we had seen earlier on, I want the alignment of the text inside the main navigation menu to be centered. So I'll say text hyphen align, full colon space, and then center, the American spelling of center there. And let's see, a little bit of spacing on this guy as well. I'll say padding, full colon, space. I want 10 pixels of padding on the top. I want 5 pixels of padding on the right. I don't want any padding on the bottom. And I want 5 pixels worth of padding over on the left-hand side. So once again, this is the space on the inside of the object. And then I'll throw in my semicolon. And then all I want to do is I want to put a little bit of space beneath the navigation menu. So that's going to be on the outside of the navigation menu. So that'll be margin hyphen bottom. There we are. And I'm going to try 10 pixels just like that. Great. Go ahead and save your work and you can head back over to your browser once again and see what you get. There we go. Something like this. So we've seen this twice already. There's the black navigation menu, which is great. The height is automatically expanding. That's that height 100%. But once again, as we've had to do already, twice already, is we have to go and control the actual items inside our navigation menu. Do you remember how we did this? Do you remember that these guys are actually list items? Remember doing this? So it's going to be nav li. So if a list item appears inside a nav element, that's what we want to tell our code. So inside our external style sheet, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go nav li. And what do I want my list items to do should they appear inside a navigation element? Well, I want them to display inline, first of all. And I want to put a little bit of space on the left side. We've been using margin hyphen left and a value of 10 pixels, but you're welcome to go and try some other values if you like. So let's test the results here. I'm going to go ahead and save my work and head back to my browser and refresh. And there we go. We now have something like this. Now, it's getting a little bit crammed inside the main navigation menu. We might have to throw in some additional formatting in here because it is such a narrow width to be designing inside of. That's going to scale out. And then there's, once again, the breakpoint for the two media queries there. So that's how our main navigation menu is going to look. But I do have some ideas to make this look a little bit better, which we'll get to in just a little while. All right, so there we go. There's our main navigation menu.